एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय मुनीब अहमद द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज ट्रस्ट ऑन इनहसिंग म्यूचुअली बेनिफिशियल कॉपरेशन विद ऑस्ट्रेलिया इन डाइवर्स फील्ड Talking to a delegation of National Commission for Minorities in Islamabad today, Imran Khan has called for collective efforts to foil sordid designs of anti-state elements bent upon instigating chaos in the country. Foreign Minister has stressed the need of promoting digital diplomacy in projecting positive image of the country. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred two more youth while raising many houses and structures to rubble in Srinagar today. In India member of the Congress party Mani Shankar has warned that if measures taken on 5 August 2019 aimed at endangering the demographic composition of illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir were not rectified an intifada and even worse can overtake the territory. Amnesty International has urged the UN Security Council to take urgent action against Myanmar amid mounting evidence of military abuses in the continuing conflict in Rakhine state. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has emphasized upon the need to enhance mutually beneficial cooperation with Australia in diverse fields. In a telephonic conversation with his Australian counterpart Scott Morrison today, Imran Khan particularly mentioned the adverse economic impact of COVID-19 on the developing countries for which he has also called for the global initiative on debt relief supported by Australia. Both leaders discussed bilateral matters and international issues of mutual interest. The Prime Minister said that with improved on-ground situation, cricket between the two sides could also be resumed. In the regional context, the Prime Minister highlighted Pakistan's positive contribution to the Afghan peace process and stressed that peace in Afghanistan is of paramount importance for the region. He also highlighted the potential for enhanced trade and increased regional connectivity through the div- dividends of peace in Afghanistan. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison also noted Pakistan's positive role in the Afghan peace process and invited Prime Minister Imran Khan to visit Australia. Prime Minister Imran Khan has called for collective efforts to foil the sordid designs of anti-state elements bent upon instigating chaos in the country under the garb of religion. He was talking to a delegation of National Commission for Minorities headed by its chairman Chila Ram Kavlani in Islamabad today. Imran Khan said interfaith harmony is need of the hour. He hoped the National Commission for Minorities will play its role in this regard. The Prime Minister said the government is committed to protect the constitutional and legal rights of the minorities community. Earlier talking to prominent religious personalities from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in Islamabad today, the Prime Minister expressed the confidence that religious scholars will continue to play their pivotal role for promotion of Islamic values and check sectarianism in the country. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has stressed on the need of promoting digital diplomacy in projecting the positive image of the country. He was addressing the inaugural ceremony of new media center at Foreign Office in Islamabad today. The minister said success of modern diplomacy is impossible without the robust engagement of media with the Foreign Office. He urged the media to play active role in countering negative propaganda of the enemy and fake news against Pakistan. The foreign minister said to deal with the challenges of foreign diplomacy we need to improve our communication with the world at all fora he said due to proactive role of foreign office pakistan's narrative on kashmir is being acknowledged at international level including european parliament and world press he said due to this role now pakistan is being viewed as the solution not the problem and entire world is recognizing the positive role of pakistan in afghan peace process while conveying serious concerns over India's state terrorism in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Shah Mahmood Qureshi said media should play its due role in collaboration with the Foreign Office in exposing the real face of India to the world. He said, utilizing the media's power in modern world, we need to thwart Indian blame game aiming at divert the world attention from the core issue of Kashmir. Pakistan and International Islamic Trade Finance Corporation have signed a financing agreement amounting to 
186 million dollars for import of oil and LNG. The facility will be utilized by Pakistan State Oil Company Limited, Pakistan Arab Refinery Limited, and Pakistan LNG Limited. During the signing ceremony, both the sides expressed the commitment to work closely with each other for socio-economic development of the country. This is Radio Pakistan. Azad Jammu and Kashmir President Sardar Masood Khan has urged the students to highlight Indian repression in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir using social media fora effectively. He expressed these views while attending the question-answer session at Bremen University Bagh today. Sardar Masood asked them to apprise international students about the just struggle of Kashmiri people for their inalienable right to self-determination. He also deplored the international community's criminal silence on not speaking against grave human rights violations in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred two more youth injured dozens while raising many houses and structures to rubble in Srinagar today. The youth were killed by the troops during a cordon and search operation in Rambagh area of the city. The troops blasted many houses with inflammable material during the operation. As the news about the killing spread, people from Barzula and adjoining areas took to the streets and clashed with the troops. The troops fired bullets, pallets and tear gas shells injuring many protesters including Jammu and Kashmir Social Youth Forum Chief Coordinator Tawseef and Sirinagar District Muhammad Faisal. Meanwhile, the APHC General Secretary Molvi Bashir Ahmad and other Hurriyat leaders in their statements in Sirinagar said that Indian Army in pursuit of the Hindutva agenda is killing the youth extrajudicially. Former Indian minister and member of the Congress party, Mani Shankar has warned that if measures taken by Narendra Modi on August 5, 2019 aimed at endangering the demographic composition of illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir are not rectified, an intifada and even worse can overtake in the territory. In an article published in The Wire, he urged Indian government to pull back its army from illegally occupied Kashmir. Amnesty International has urged the UN Security Council to take urgent action against Myanmar amid mounting evidence of military abuses, including indiscriminate firing at civilians in the continuing conflict. In a report released today, Amnesty International Deputy Regional Director said the violations are growing more shocking and brazen in Rakhine State, urging the international community to take notice of the brutalities. 385 coronavirus cases and 10 more deaths from the virus were reported in the country during the last 24 hours. The total active COVID-19 cases in Pakistan are now 8,552. The figure of patients recovered from the virus has reached 3,004,185. The number of coronavirus cases across the world has crossed 37.7 million while the pandemic has claimed more than 1 million lives so far. More than 28.3 million patients have recovered from the disease across the world. The United States has topped with over 7.9 million cases and more than 2,019,000 deaths. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is likely to prevail over most parts parts of the country while hot in plain areas during the next 24 hours. However, light rain thunderstorm is expected in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Gilgit Baltistan. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan News Official.